Hello and welcome to Pre-Trib Rapture Truth. In this video I want to answer an email that I received from someone and I decided to do a video rather than sending an email back to this person because it would take a lot of detail uh, to go into uh, an email and also this person uh, presumes a lot of things in his questions um, and I disagree with the premise of some of the questions that they have so I'd rather do this in a video form rather than typing a long email I don't presume to know everything but this is what I believe okay this is the email and I'm gonna read it and answer as I go along it says thank you for your video explaining your understanding on the pre-trip rapture my only concern is for those who like you mentioned are lukewarm and are left behind to go through the devil's wrath down here on earth and right from the beginning he says something that I don't quite agree with although the devil is going to uh, especially pour out wrath at the midpoint of the tribulation period when he's thrown out of heaven uh, he's going to be pouring out his wrath pretty heavy but the devil he pours out his wrath now on people I mean in the tribulation period is specifically God's wrath uh, all of the judgments that are going to happen from the seal judgments the trumpets the thunders the bowls all of that all of that is God's wrath not the devil's wrath that's God's wrath and uh, Revelation chapter 6 I think it's verse 16 where the people are saying that it's God's wrath and they want to get away from God's wrath and he says the Lord Jesus also teaches for the sake of those foolish virgins that are left that they should not take the mark of the beast nor bow down to him this is a warning to the bride of Christ and again I don't agree with this premise nowhere in the Bible that I know of that the Lord warned the church his bride not to take a, the mark of the beast uh, nowhere that I know of uh, the Lord told his bride his church to watch to look for him and to keep our garments clean and not be defiled and to watch out for false prophets and false teachers but he did not warn his bride not to take a mark of the beast uh, the church is not going to be here doing uh, the mark of the beast so I don't agree with that either what he's saying and then it says if this warning is not meant for the wise because we are worthy to escape it in the rapture it must be given for the sake of those who were seen as the foolish virgins who too are a part of the bride of Christ isn't that right no that is not right and um, I don't agree with that uh, at all I think the foolish virgins the five foolish virgins are not even saved it's in Matthew chapter 25 verse 10 11 and 12 and if you will read it I mean it plainly says that uh, when those five foolish virgins came back from buying the oil that they needed that the door was shut and they were saying Lord Lord let us in and the Lord himself told them that I don't know you so they were blocked out from going into the wedding and the Lord himself told them that he does not know them he doesn't know them and so in my opinion they're not saved because the, the Lord said in Matthew chapter 7 that there are going to be people who call him Lord Lord that are not going to make it into heaven that these people said to him Lord didn't we do this in your name didn't we do that in your name and he he's gonna say I never knew you depart from me you workers of iniquity can you please help me to better understand when these foolish virgins who were beheaded for the cause of Christ and who comes out of great tribulations when will they get their resurrected glorified bodies will it be before or after the 1000 year millennial reign of Christ here on earth I again I don't think that these uh, five foolish virgins were even saved um, as to whether they're gonna be beheaded or not I am not sure um, they may be with the bunch that the Lord talked about 
that he was going to give them a strong delusion that they would believe a lie because I'm not saying all of them would be that maybe there are some who will you know accept the Lord and you know be persecuted and be beheaded but if there are the bunch that says Lord Lord and doesn't do what the Lord say that they would rather you know you know not do what God says and claim to be a Christian as the Lord told <coughs> in Second Thessalonians chapter 2 that he's going to give people over to a strong delusion that they will believe a lie so I, I, I don't agree that these foolish versions are necessarily saved or that they're going to be beheaded for the cause of Christ and now for the other part of the question the ones who do you know accept the Lord and believe on him during the tribulation period and are beheaded these people they will reign with God they will reign with Jesus during that thousand year millennial period I mean it's plain that, that it says that but they are not called the bride of Christ they are called uh, servants of the Lord and they are called priests in the book of Revelations they're not called the bride of Christ and it says if you will remember with me for the moment that Jesus prayed in the garden of Gethsemane before the soldiers came to arrest him and this person basically is talking about uh, when God the Father gave Jesus uh, certain ones and Jesus said he has not lost them that they are with him and basically he is saying that these foolish versions are ones that the Father gave Jesus again these foolish versions the Lord said I don't know them. I don't know you but whether after the rapture and they go through the tribulation period and are beheaded at that point um, I still don't believe that they're going to be a part of the church I believe that they're going to reign and rule with Jesus on the earth for a thousand years they're called servants and priests but I don't think that they're going to be a part of the marriage to be uh, you know to join the worthy ones to be uh, in the marriage to be consummated so that's my answer for that it says please share with me from your heart how this needs to be understood Jesus has left his bride warning not to partake of the mark of the beast again uh, show me where in the Bible what Jesus told the church not to partake of the mark of the beast <laughs> he didn't the church is not going to be here to receive that mark of the beast um, now from what I'm reading uh, he said, could there maybe be a midpoint rapture three and a half years into the seven year tribulation period? Yes. Uh, I believe that the 144,000 uh, Israelites who are going to be sealed, that they're going to be raptured up during the uh, middle of the tribulation period. And it is possible that the ones who are beheaded are going to, some are going to be raptured at that point too. I'm not certain about that. I said, the wise could be sealed here on earth so that the trip not affect them couldn't it uh, yes it could but that's not going to be the case uh, if you will read revelations chapter 13 verse 7 the bible says that god is going to give the antichrist the power to overcome the saints so i mean they're going to be affected they're going to be beheaded the bible plainly says that and it says Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was found standing in the fire and flames, yet the flames did not hurt them in the least. Uh, Jesus, I believe, could do the same for the wise virgins, couldn't he? Yes, he could, but he's not going to. Not according to the Bible. And the Bible plainly says that uh, people are going to be beheaded and God is going to give uh, the Antichrist power to overcome the saints. The church is not going to be here if you will read in Matthew chapter 16 verse 18 Jesus said the church is not going to be overcome the gates of hell is not going to prevail against the church the gates of hell and the devil are not going to overcome the church but then you read Revelation chapter 13 verse 7 God is going to give the Antichrist power to overcome the saints the people who are here during the tribulation period and it could not be the same group of people uh, the church and the saints that is talking about in the book of Revelations there and not the same two group of people so 
that is my answer uh, to you and I hope it helps some people to better understand um, the rapture and the tribulation period and uh, thank you all for listening